Um, so living with arthritis has always been a challenge, but when I was 14 or 15, I found out that I would probably need a hip replacement. So when I was 16, I went and met with a hip specialist and he said that until the pain got like unbearable, um, I'm not going to need one yet. But I always think about like down the road, like at what age I'm going to get it and what age I can kind of put all this behind me and stuff and like if I get it during school or when I'm going to graduate and if I want to travel or and like they only last for about 20 years. So at what age I get married and have kids and it all depends. And it's kind of a scary thing to think that I have to think about a hip replacement at my age when I should just be worried about boys in school, but it's a big deal. So I've always kind of had that in the back of my mind for the past four years or so. Um, when I was at camp this year as a counselor, I actually met a girl my age who I've always heard about her name and uh, she had a hip replacement last year and she just got another one this year. And it was actually really encouraging to meet her. She's the only one that they tell me about that's had one, but she looks at, looks at it as a positive experience. She does all the sports she does, and um, she said the recovery wasn't too bad, and now like I wouldn't even be able to tell looking at her. So it's really encouraging to know that it doesn't alter your life, and it's not something that people would just know about you. I truly think that in this day and age, we can use the word cure very tentatively. We could never do that before, but I think, I think we really are reaching the stage where we will know uh, enough about the diseases, the mechanisms of the diseases, the underlying uh, problems that affect the, the, uh, the body, that we'll be able to say, yeah, we can cure these diseases. I hope that's true. I think it's going to be true.